The Night of the Hunter, 1955, is an American horror film directed by Charles Lawton and starring Robert Mitchum, Shelley Winters and Lillian Gish, based on the 1953 novel of the same name by Davis Grubb. It was adapted for the screen by James A. G. and Lawton. The plot focuses on a corrupt reverend turned serial killer who attempts to charm an unsuspecting widow and steal $10,000 hidden by her executed husband. The novel and film draw on the true story of Harry Powers, hanged in 1932 for the murders of two widows and three children in Clarksburg, West Virginia. The film's lyric and expressionistic style with its leaning on the silent era sets it apart from other Hollywood films of the 1940s and 1950s, and it has influenced later directors such as David Lynch, Martin Scorsese, Terrence Malick, Jim Yarmouche, Spike Lee, and the Coen Brothers. In 1992, The Night of the Hunter was deemed culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant by the United States Library of Congress and was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry. The influential film magazine Collars de Cinema selected The Night of the Hunter in 2008 as the second best film of all time, only behind Citizen Kane. The Night of the Hunter was not a success with either audiences or critics at its initial release, and Lawton never directed another film. Nevertheless, the film has found a wider audience over the years, and Mitchum's performance, in particular, has been praised. The film was remade in 1991 as a TV movie starring Richard Chamberlain.